207 viewers. I'm Ashley Bamba and I'm in my house with David from David's Restaurants because he's my dad, so we're just gonna cook some dinner. Hey, David, Ashley. what the heck are we doing here? Well, we are quarantined in our house, just yeah. like everybody because of the coronavirus. Yeah. And we're cooking what we have in our house, which wasn't a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna make a little pasta stir fry. Okay. And this could be any vegetables that you have in your house, pretty much. And I didn't really have very much pasta. I don't know if you noticed. I don't have like that much yeah, pasta. Yeah, that much food for no, it's not very much pasta. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what I got is I'm gonna, this is a stir fry, so I'm going to use a wok. I got a little bit of oil right here. And you can use any kind of oil? Well, you could use any kind of oil, but I'm going to use olive oil because it's really going to be sort of an Italian-style stir fry. All right? So these are the vegetables that I just happen to have. Um, so I've got some onions and some zucchini and some carrots. And those are going to go in first. And this is a little poblano chili, which um, aren't too hot. Okay. And we're going to saute those around a little bit. A little bit of salt and pepper. And all the while, this pasta is cooking away. It only takes about four minutes, something like that, four or five minutes, depending. And you can use any kind of pasta. That's just, I mean, I don't know, probably everybody's having the same problem we're having, which is you don't really want to go to the grocery store unless we really have to. And so, there's going to be no leftovers in our refrigerator by the time we're done with it. That's good. Anyway, so rock, rock stir fry. I don't really want the vegetables to be too cooked. Okay. I want them to be a little crispy. Anyway, so I've got just the outside of the Brussels sprouts. I actually saved the inside of the Brussels sprouts to roast. And then I got a little bit of uh, sugar peas, I mean uh, snow peas, mm -hmm. some cherry tomatoes. All right, but you might notice so I left the garlic out until the end because I don't want the garlic to burn. I don't want it to cook. I don't really like burned garlic very much. I like to have a little nutty flavor to it, but not too much. All right, so our pasta is almost done. This is going to go, I think, a little bit. I'll put a little more salt in there. All right. So you see, that is really about as cooked as I want. It's almost done. And our pasta over there is just about ready to come out. And what I really want to do is I want to reserve some of this pasta water, and it's going to go in here a little soon, right? And this is my sauce. Mm -hmm. well, I might want to do more of that pasta water later. And you know, the pasta water is kind of important. It's like the big secret with Italian pasta cooking because it makes, it makes your sauce a sauce. It's not just tomato. You got a little bit of that pasta water in there. Did you make your own sauce? Well, I did, but you could just use a bottle yeah. of sauce, a can of sauce. And I have a feeling that by the end of this, we're going to be using the cans of everything that we got, stuff that's been in our freezer for years. All right, so this is one of the things I really like. I've got right at the end just a little bit because we just happen to have some kale and some spinach. And I don't want that to get too cooked. And then, you know, I wish it was basil, but I didn't have any basil, so I got a little fresh mint and a little bit of parsley because that was all we had left. You know what? The thing I do like about this is you saw how little pasta I used. And you know, pasta's heavy, and you don't really want too much pasta, especially when you're not getting as much exercise, you're not going to be outside as much. So this is a nice dinner for three with literally two cups of pasta. And uh, last I looked in the grocery store, pasta was pretty hard to come by. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. You know, you couldn't think that looked like a lot, did you? Yeah, not at all. Look at that. It's a lot of food, isn't it? Yeah. I do like my pasta, but... I know, you like your pasta. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, look at that. So now, I never met a pasta that wasn't enhanced by... I just happen to have a nice little block of Parmesan Reggiano on here. And that, my sweetheart dear, yeah. is pasta stir-fry. Mm -hmm. 